This is a preview of the beta mango version of SurfCube 3D browser. And right now it's just a beta and it's a private beta, but they have some impressive changes that they've made. So of course the browser uses the Mango IE9 rendering system, which is already faster, but they also added this new bar at the bottom that makes it easier for new users to figure out how to use the program. So you can use that in order to get over here to your tabs and everything, but you can also use the classic methods of just swiping from the side or even using the like flick gestures of actually moving your phone, and you can turn those on in the browsing modes. So the browser has a lot of different options, like in private browsing, so you can browse without tracking your history, you can choose your search provider, and you can enable those options to actually move the screen from the edge there, which is really nice. It also has a joystick, and so of course this makes tab switching a lot easier than it is in the actual Mango browser of Windows Phone 7, because you can just get to there and then quickly go to your other tabs, with just two touches instead of multiple touches in the actual Mango browser. You can also enable tabs to show up at the very top and then it's even quicker to switch tabs because then you have everything up there just like your desktop browser and you can even pan through all of them and quickly switch. You can also close a tab and do whatever you want. So of course it also supports desktop rendering and you can switch pages to actually render in the full desktop version. Pinch to zoom, everything's perfectly smooth and very fast. So it's a lot better experience than the actual Windows Phone Mango, Mango browser is. And another really cool feature is if you're looking at a new site like WM Power User, and let's just turn off those quick tabs you can actually set the page if you tap and hold on the background of the page let's see maybe right there then it asks you if you want to open links in the background tab or in a new tab and you can choose your options for that so that's a brand new feature and if you say you want to open them in a background tab you could be scrolling through and like oh hey that looks cool you just click it and then you keep on scrolling and you keep on reading and you find something else that looks interesting and you could click that one and then once you're done scrolling through all these you can swipe over to your tabs and then go to the new tabs there and you'll see that your page is already loaded and ready to read so that's a really great feature and that feature is enabled for each individual page so say I switch over to neowin.net and on this one I actually set it so that it opens them in a new tab. So as you see there, always open in a new tab. So let's check out this story. It'll open in a new tab here, create a new tab. And another thing is you can have basically as many tabs as you want. If you see I have a bunch of tabs there, a lot more than six. And there's some really great tab management features. So overall, it's a really huge improvement over the actual built-in browser in Windows Phone 7. So this one here opened in a new tab, and then once I'm done reading that, I can just click the back button, and it'll actually close that tab, and it'll usually go back to the... It goes back to the last tab, I guess. So which should have been Neowin, but actually it goes back to whatever's previous in your lineup of tabs. So normally, if you open NeoWin and then you open a new tab and then click the back button, it'll close it and go back to right where you're reading. So those are all really nice features and overall it's a great application and you can choose to search from Bing or Google and all you do is just type in there. And you also have the feature to pin all of your open tabs, like I have a bunch open right now. You can pin them all, so say if you have three tabs open and you always open those three tabs and check those websites, you can just pin those tabs to your start screen, and then whenever you want to go check those, you can just click them and it'll open all three tabs at once. And it also supports Mango fast resuming, so it's instant to resume back to where you were. And overall, it's an amazing application, and there's a lot of new features coming out. 
and it's highly recommended. The final Mango version of Surf Cube 4 should be in the marketplace sometime in the next month or so, but for now you can find Surf Cube 3D Browser in the marketplace, and remember everyone, keep on happy cubing as the developer says.